Hello all, welcome to the Security Tube GNU Debugger Expert course and certification. So this is video 8 and in this video we'll finally move to something a little bit more related to security. Now this isn't really a reverse engineering or a cracking tutorial series. Uh, so we'll probably try and limit exactly what we look at from an RE perspective. But just to give you an example of what we can do with GDB, in this video, we will have a look at cracking a very simple binary with debug symbols included. So what I've done is I already have the source code, right? And I have compiled it into a binary with the hyphen ggdb option so as to include the debug symbols. Now let's try and understand what this program does. So let me run the program and it basically says uh, that well you need to invocate this with the password to unlock. So the whole idea here is that you give a password to unlock the application. Let's say the password is demo. It says incorrect password. Let's just try demo123 again incorrect password right so the whole idea is actually to supply the right passphrase now how do you tackle such a problem before we of course go into uh, I probably forgot this slide is you can click in the description below and click on the download PDF slides and code file where you can either tweet the video or register for the SDDE support us with just $1.50 and you get access to the course videos as downloads, uh, the mock exam, the actual certification exam, and if you pass, an e-copy of the certificate just for $1.50. So have a look at that. Okay, now before we begin any of the kind of, you know, GDB stuff, all that Kung Fu within GDB, let's try and do something very, very simple. And in this binary program, I want to show you how we can achieve probably the same goal using different techniques. So the first option is use a program called strings. And what it actually does is just displays the strings uh, in the given binary. So we have strings and let's say SGDE video 8 underscore debug. And this dumps a bunch of strings in here. We probably recognize a couple of these as shared library names, a couple of calls. Oh, interesting. So we have something called secret code here. Uh, this seems like something which was passed to printf. Interesting. Looks like the passphrase. Let's copy that. It says lead speak. Incorrect passphrase, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. So let me try and run this program again with what I found with strings. And basically it gives us the secret code, which is whatever this number might be. Possibly a credit card number, you can try it. Uh, so this was a very simple way. We just basically blind uh, guessed what was the possibility. And as you can imagine, the larger the program, the more number of strings which can be output, more number of possibilities, and the situation might not always be so simple, which is the secret in the program could very well be hidden using encoding or encryption, in which case you might not be able to use the strings utility. Anyway, strings definitely is not probably something you can bank on always, but most definitely is one of the first things you should try. Now, the second thing which we can look at is runtime analysis, right? And this is where debug symbols make things a little bit easier for us. Don't worry, in later videos, we will take the same binary without debug symbols, right? Awesome. So let me load this up in GDB and let's look at the different things available. So we say info variables to look at all global variables. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's hit an info functions. 
this seems to give us a lot of interesting info right three functions main is pretty much useless aha so we have two functions one is called is password correct which is passed to strings which returns an integer right this is a likely suspect because what could be happening is the binary could actually be calling is password correct with the user supplied string as well as with the real password and the return option could be an integer which is basically doing the job of a boolean and unlock secret seems to be a function which takes nothing as input and basically returns nothing so this is interesting as well so let's actually call unlock secret to do that let's hit break main let's run the program with some value let's say demo we've hit main let's call this function unlock secret awesome so unlock secret was really going ahead and calling the secret code printing routine which we've uncovered fantastic now let's try and figure out what the real passphrase is again let's do an info functions so there is this function called is password correct right, let's copy that and let's create a breakpoint for this function right and let's continue the code okay so right now we're broken at is password incorrect interestingly the first input is nothing but demo while the second input is basically a passphrase used statically within the program and looks like the developer did a slight naming mistake which is he calls this the password and he calls his static password as the user input right looks like a typo uh, you could very easily also go ahead and print this stuff out so we have print password at this point and you also have print user input at this point right now even if you hadn't done all of this you could have probably tried by looking at all the local variables using the info scope option and by giving the function name so if you notice this basically says well there is a variable called password one called user input and the third one called result interesting now in this case we don't have the source code with us and hence we can't list it uh, but result seems to be quite interesting to us right because probably this is the one which takes the result back <clears throat> from the user interesting so what we are going to do right now is we could continue the program incorrect password but now we've also figured out that this is the password we really bother about right so dynamic analysis probably using debug simples is extremely easy now i know what many of you are thinking you're thinking hey you know in the real world well am i really going to be encountering uh, binaries with all the debug symbols well in some cases no but in many cases yes how when you talk about open source packages which probably on linux and unix based platforms really dominate the market uh, you already have the whole source code which means even if you've downloaded just the binary and installed it using any package manager you could download the source code for that specific version of the program uh, in which probably you suspect there is a bug or you want to uncover something else compile the binary yourself with debug symbols and go through the whole process right now in this specific case if you had the source code well it would have been really really easy that's the reason why i didn't look at the source code first so you have three functions unlock secret is password correct and then you have main and you can clearly see what we are doing is we are calling is password correct with this hard coded password which is again a frowned upon practice we check and 
unlock secret if the passwords match, else we print incorrect password. There's also a little check up here about ensuring that we enter a password along with the command line arguments, right? Awesome. Anyway, that's all for this video. I would highly recommend that you download the source file, the binary, try this out yourself. Very, very important. In the next video, we will look at how you can disassemble the same debug file and try out more interesting things, right? Now you can get the source code and the PDF by clicking tweet the video and you can probably support us if you can by registering for the SGDE for just $1.50. That's all for this video. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.